So we are at a small landscaping job that once saw taxes and insurance and wear and tear and depreciation come out of the final bill. Uh, we'll probably just pay for that tank of gas that I put in. All these hedges we're trimming down. We're cleaning out the beds. You can see there's junk in there that we want to clean out. The homeowner said they were going to put down mulch. Then they asked me for a quote for mulch. So once everything's clean, we'll see how much mulch we need. And that'll be a separate thing we can send to them. But all this stuff taken down, definitely below the window. Clean all that bed out. Same thing here. This bed area, we're going to clean all that. There's a couple of shrubs back there we'll trim. This is all junk we're cleaning up. We've got shrubs there. This area here, these shrubs. the other side we've got more shrubs more landscape bed to clean up i'm going to clean up behind the ac it's not really good to have grass there because you know your string trimmer is going to possibly nick your lines every time and it's just it's better to have that mulch with nothing growing so i'll probably end the bed right about there So the shaft in my head trimmer finally wore out. And uh, of course, this is the only one I brought. So now Kendall's going to get to run home and burn some more, more fuel and get uh, my other head trimmer extension. Now we're going to run the uh, Echo bed redefiner and see if we can get some uh, border started while she's doing that. So you can see how that puts a nice couple inch uh, divot there. So that'll, if we do come back and do mulch, that'll give a little lip for it. But it'll also kind of make, when we're uh, scuffle hoeing all this stuff to pull everything out, it'll give us a nice line of where to stop. <laughs> I'll clean that line up later. We can make that a little bit nicer. So I don't think this uh, electric echo power base is good for this. I've, I've been using this for maybe two minutes and I've already drained half of a five amp hour battery.
it finished it, but we're down to a quarter of a five amp hour battery. So this is a relatively small landscaping job. So I wouldn't say, if you're wanting to use the bed redefiner, you gotta stick to a gas power base. Uh, it just drains the batteries too quick. And it doesn't have the power it needs uh, to do it in one pass. I had to kind of take little nibbles and go back and forth like you saw. The next step of this project is probably the worst and it uh, involves this scuffle hoe. And that's not, you know, me trying to be clever or play on words or anything. This, is, this tool is called a scuffle hoe and its main design is to get down and under uh, weeds and grasses and cut them by the root. So it works really well versus a shovel for something like this because you're not taking a ton of dirt out like you would be with a shovel. So anyways, now the uh, fun part, and I am using that term loosely, the fun part of the project begins. I've got a uh, canopy up over this GoPro because it'll overheat in the uh, in the sun, but it's also working out good for me because I get a little shade too. <laughs> There's Kendall. Hopefully, she got the right part. <laughs> So if you want, um, it might be better for you to start working in the front in the shade. It's very hot. <laughs> so this stretch is all done with the first round of the scuffle hoe. Kendall's back, so I'm going to give that tool to her and I'm going to get back to hedge trimming. I found that tarps are some of the easiest ways to deal with debris because you can just rake right onto it. Uh, you don't have to pick anything up. You don't have to bend over. You don't have to lift a trash can. You just drag it to the street. Obviously, it's gonna depend on your conditions, but tarps for me are probably the, the best way I've found. I don't think I broke that, but we'll just tell the uh, property owner I hit it with the hedge trimmer, and if it leaks, I'll come out and replace it, no charge. I think I just scratched it. I underbid again. <laughs> I mean, are you surprised? I mean, if you had to guess, did Brad bid a job properly or did he underbid it? I think if you guess underbid most of the time, you're gonna be right. All the debris at the street. My city has uh, 
guys in a TL3 scoop loader that come pick debris up in city limits. So there is no reason, there's no good reason for me to haul this away. It would cost a ton for me. It would cost a ton for the client. Everybody else who would bid this job would just dump it at the street. There's no reason for me to haul this away. So there it sits for the city. Trimmed everything, beds are ready for mulch. We're going to uh, give the client a quote for mulch. I was pretty upfront about them. I was pretty upfront about it. I was like, I think you're smart for paying someone to do this, but mulch, I mean, as hot as it is, probably you don't want to do it, but uh, you know, it's one of those things where I'm just running to Walmart and picking up the mulch. So you've got to pay me for all that. And you know, if you've got the time, mulch is one of those things where it's a lot more good sense. I can't even speak. <laughs> it makes more financial sense to do it yourself. Of course, it would have made more financial sense to do this himself. So that's not the reason everybody makes decisions. Quite honestly, I have no clue what I'm saying at this point. <laughs> Whatever the borderline between where I'm at and heat stroke <laughs> or heat exhaustion is very thin. <laughs> There's not much more to push me over that edge. <laughs> now, here's this side. If, uh, if we do come back and do mulch, we're going to run the bed redefiner up against everything again. There was a lot of dirt here we removed. Uh, if we didn't, the mulch wouldn't have had any place to sit. Let's see, I got a little, little bit there, so they don't have to strain trim around the, around the components of the, uh, this thing. What are, you know what it is? Seriously, it's a hot one today. So I think the real feel is 106. Current temperature is whatever I put up on the screen. But anyways, that's the job. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate it. Can't even remember my outro script. <laughs> See ya.